Hey guys, this is Paul from Music Store Live. Today I'm going to teach you how to fix a stripped strap button. What we have here is a pretty stripped hole. The screw comes right out. There's two ways to correctly fix this. Well, there's several ways to correctly fix it, actually, not just two. I'm only going to show you the two easiest ways. First thing I'm doing is cutting up some of these bamboo shoots. You don't have to use bamboo shoots. I like using bamboo shoots because it's strong wood and it's easy and cheap to acquire. But if you're in a pinch, a toothpick will work just fine. The next thing you need is super glue. Um, I prefer super glue in a container like this as opposed to a tube because the tube is just really messy and you don't want to get super glue all over your nice finish. So to prevent that, we're going to pour the super glue out into a nice puddle onto something that's not your guitar for obvious reasons. Next, all we're going to do is roll your toothpick around in the super glue. Stick it in there and hold it in place for about 30 seconds. After it's dried, you can just cut off. And then check the screw by hand. You should be able to twist it in a little bit before you start to feel some force. If you can twist it all the way in by hand, then you should probably add another piece. But since it starts to stop, and require a screwdriver, I think that's the only one we're going to need there. This is the fastest and easiest way to repair it if you're out in the middle of a gig and nowhere, you know. The only place that's open is a hardware store or a price chopper. So to do this style repair, it's a little more permanent than the toothpick. Even though I've had toothpick repairs last me up to years without having to do anything to them. Um, this one requires Hardware store epoxy putty. I'm sure you've seen it on the infomercials. You can buy it at Home Depot, Lowe's, Aubuchon's, whatever your local hardware store provider may be. One color is the base, one color is the hardener. So all you have to do is knead them together until they're one solid color. And they'll start to chemically react with each other. You can get the five minute repair or you can get the overnight. I prefer the overnight just because I like to have more than five minutes to work with. Use whatever you've got lying around to push it as far down in the hole as possible. Looks pretty good. Because this stuff is pretty sticky and it's pretty permanent, have a damp rag ready. Make sure it's cotton and soft because even a paper towel will scratch a finish up. And just wipe off the excess. Don't miss any spots because those fingerprints will be really hard to get if this epoxy dries. Alright, we'll let that sit overnight. We'll come back in the morning and drill a new hole. So, for those of you that don't have calipers at home, it's important to get the right hole size for your screw. Otherwise, it's just going to strip again. This one's obviously too big. And that's the one we're going to use. It's not rocket science, just try and keep it straight. to it. Easiest repair on the board. Mm -hmm.